That is not what the public deserves. Tonight, frustrated parents voiced their complaints and concerns over a controversial move to replace the solicitor in the West Shore School District. The move comes amid frustration over the secrecy of the move and a possible violation of Pennsylvania's Sunshine Act. And it is not every day that so many people have such strong opinions about a school district's lawyer. Fox 43's Logan Perrone joins us live at the board meeting site tonight in Northern York County, where that meeting is still taking place. Yeah, Evan and Amy, tonight a new law firm and a new solicitor were on the agenda for approval and just about 20 minutes ago, the board voted 5-4 in favor of installing, again, the new solicitor for that role. Now, we had hundreds of people commenting either online or in person tonight about the questions they have over the legality and the ethics of some of the school board members' actions. I can only hope you don't completely destroy our district in the meantime. Some parents call it a leadership letdown in the West Shore School District. We cannot afford to allow bias or harmful relationships to overshadow our mission. Parents and community members packed Thursday's school board meeting as the board planned to remove the current solicitor in favor of a new one without providing a reason to the public. It would be like one of our athletic teams showing up at another school and being informed when they got there Hey, we suspended the rules. Among them, parent Danielle Gross. It's not really a surprise that they wanted to choose another solicitor, but it is a surprise that they decided to abandon the RFP process. The main concern was the lack of proper processes, seemingly violating Pennsylvania's Sunshine Act by not taking any formal action before putting the appointment of the new solicitor on the agenda. Transparency, transparency, transparency. And I haven't seen you showing any transparency yet. Also on the table was a vote to suspend board policy 005 section 7, which gives the board the power to appoint the solicitor. They're going to suspend a policy every time they want to violate it. What's the point of even having policies? Only a few people spoke in favor of the board's actions. I thank you guys for what you're doing. And there's lots of people behind me. From the vast majority, frustration. That is not what the public deserves. And a warning. This board's going to learn a real hard lesson if they don't pay attention. Brooks say the solicitor who was let go, as well as Kevin All, who will become the new solicitor, were both in attendance tonight. We had reached out to them earlier today. Neither got back for our request for comment. In Fairview Township, York County, Logan Perrone, Fox 43 News. So, Logan, aside from concerns regarding perhaps secrecy and legality over the whole process, there is a financial concern being kicked around as well. Yeah, Evan, when we uh, looked at the agenda tonight, you know, it, they're going to have to pay Sal's, I'm sorry, Say's salary. They're going to also have to pay at the same time Hall's salary. Now, this comes at a time where in their budget proposal, they're looking at a deficit of more than $15 million. They also have a proposed tax increase raise for, again, the residents of the school district of 6.25%. That's the highest that they can legally raise it. Now, when we spoke with Groves earlier, she also told us that every penny counts. Evan? All right, well, the meeting continues. We'll see how it shakes out. Logan Perone, live in York County tonight. Thank you so much.